Hello and welcome to this Let's Play of Europa Universalis 3 with me, the Titan. Uh, first of all, I am just going to explain, yes, there is a banner at the top of the video, and no, it is not going to go away for the foreseeable future. This is mainly a test of Let's Plays that I will be recording, uh, because I will be doing a Let's Play of Europa Universalis 4 the day it comes out. These videos I am just pre-recording so that I can get some sense of how to actually do these recordings well and uh, basically get a good view of how to do things. So I'm not completely stumped when the game is actually released. So we are going to play EU3 and we are going to play as the Ottoman Empire. I actually did a let's play about half an hour ago, but uh, that was of England, and unfortunately the recording stopped, and I didn't keep it going. So I played about 10 minutes without any recording going on. So that would have been bad if this was uh, the real deal of EU4. But now these are basically tests, and I hope that you will enjoy them as much as I am making them. Now, we are heading right in, and the Ottomans, we have a few allies. Now, let's see the options. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do these back to normal. Normal, yeah, excellent. We are actually in a very good position from the start. Unfortunately, we have a border with Timurids, which is going to be a pain. But other than that, we should be able to take Constantinople quite fast. We are a human player, the AI isn't that smart. Um, so, let's dive in. And, before you also say anything, these videos are going to be uh, 10 minutes long, because that is how long I can record. But, at the end of each video, I will be most of the time, hearing a tiny sound that will alert me that the video is up. And I will start them over again right away. And you will not be missing anything between videos. Uh, sometimes I will be doing a cut before that 10 minutes is over, and then I will do a, a fresh start. But here we go, City of the World's Desire. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take Thrace or Constantinople. We actually, we actually don't have a core here. That's well, they still have Moria, which we need to take first, I think. Unless this actually gives us a closest belly to take them on. Now, let's see, we have a huge amount of troops over there, and I think that um, they're basically just going to conquer them fully. Holy War would give me more prestige, and this is only that I own the base. So actually, Holy War would be preferable. We get the same information, same cost, but 25% more prestige. And I will automatically call my two allies, Bosnia and Serbia, and they will join me. Go ahead. And let's see. Athens, let's Venice. And I'm going to have to use a Navy. My Navy. There. Ten. Yeah. First of all, I'm going to stop them from preventing me from uh, besieging them. And I can carry five. That should be more than enough to take Moria. Oh. Places? None? Okay, land tech, yes. Tax. How big is our tax? Yeah, it's our main income. 
So getting food some more is going to be good. And inflation reduction. Our air is just slightly better than us at the moment. We have the national conscripts. That's interesting. And I'm going to go with let's see, I'm going to have some is 40 spies, good. Oh, point. And we're going to go with land technology. I could go for centralization right away, but I really, really, really don't want to revolt right now when we're going to war right away off the bat. So we're going to go for land. Grand Captain. Oh, nice. Now, I, I am going to put in a shortcut here. I am going to go right back into it and start this war, but I need to check that the recording has started and that everything is running smoothly. So, see you in the next bit. Bye.